Wow, I swear I didn't see that before I started this reading. Look at that. It's like she's giving it to him. And it's not it's not a bad thing. Um but it's time to start giving it back to yourself. It's time to take it back. Okay, so next, um the second song. One, oh, I wrote it down. One second. The second song was Rihanna Needed Me. And I thought, wow, that's crazy, okay? People can actually, when you give away your power like that, people can actually use it like uh, to build themselves up, okay? Um, the Nine of Pentacles is all about your your energy, your money, your power. Now, when you give away too much of your energy to somebody and you're not getting that back in the way that you need to, it affects your money eventually. I know about this shit, y'all. Trust me, okay? Listen to me now. Okay, you got the power to turn that around with the Wheel of Fortune. That spirit showing you right now, you got the power to turn this shit around, okay? Um, this shit has become a burden here, okay? With the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands, all together, that's the Ten of Wands. That's a heavy-ass burden. And the Nine of Wands is all about, um, you see that volcano in the background? I never noticed that before. This situation is is getting to the point now where your guides pushed you to get this reading for a reason, okay? I just saw 33 on the clock. You, That's a master number. You are a master. You're a master manifester, but you're giving away that power to somebody else. Again, I'm going to say, um, we're giving away our power, okay? They're taking it. You know, we can't be mad at somebody that's taking the energy we're sending them. We can't be mad about that. We send it to them. So, as far as blaming and being pissed off, there ain't no need for that. I don't think you're like that anyway. Um, I just want to say that for anybody else who's listening. Okay, so, Ten of Wands here. It's time to take back these wands, and especially this Ace of Wands, to your passion, your creativity, okay? Um, all right, so next, we got the King of Swords and the Strength card. Um, again, this, this is coming up as, you know, this masculine energy, okay, uh, divine masculine, if you want to look at it like that, you're giving over your power to him, okay, look at that, the, the thing around this, um, lion's neck here is making me think of the necklace again, okay, so, it's not, it's not time to blame or, you know, like I said, you ain't doing that. Strength. This is Leo energy again. You're giving your strength over to this person. Hmm. All right. So next, uh, coming up for the future of the situation, if nothing changes and you keep on, you know, giving your power over to this person um, or this situation or whatever, the next song was beautiful mistakes okay maroon five and before i forget um on the on the cover of that album that maroon five album there's a zebra and a cheetah i think that you should check out um the meanings of zebra and cheetah as spirit animals spirit totems or whatever um i looked it up just like briefly and and it seemed like it'd be good to fit the situation just you know, look up a few things because sometimes you can look up a spirit animal or an angel number or something like that. And it's like, that don't have shit to do with me. But look up a few different meanings and, and take whatever resonates with you, whatever you feel that helps you to get through, you know, whatever situation you're going through. If you come across something and it just makes you feel like, the hell's that got to do with me? Just leave it. Okay, so... Okay, so what I did do also, I pulled a couple of cards from the island times wellness deck and the the chaser and coffin came up okay so chaser and codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues um and then coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transform and transition okay then the dragonfly was at the bottom of the deck um be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt heal change the dragonfly might be uh, special to you too. You might, you might be seeing dragonflies or something like that. Okay, so now, yeah. Okay, so the the cards that are coming up on the bottom of the deck, I'm gonna show you those two. Um, uh, 
ascending the runner heart with a key uh no i'm not gonna ascending yes definitely okay so the cards that came out for the from the past life deck was pretty wild um okay so knighthood okay uh, you could have even fought in some kind of battle with this person. Um, okay, then Celtic came out. So, you might have some Celtic ancestry. Oh, also, yeah. I'm going to do a, a Celtic crossbred for you, too, since that came out. Okay, so in a past life with this person or either someone that reminds you of this person, um, I think there was some kind of abandonment that happened okay something there was some kind of war some kind of battle or something and what is this oh asia i don't know why that's significant but that asia card came up um and then phobias imprisonment or slavery and persecution and inquisition um these are things that you've dealt with in your life um past lives okay and so i think that you have a fear like because the phobias card came up and i just saw 16 16 on the clock i don't know what that means you might want to look it up um okay but mother and tree the issues that you're dealing with in this life um you've had a lot of lives where they were uh, very similar to this where maybe something similar happened you might have been giving away your power to somebody in a similar way in different lives but it's gonna be okay because you're taking back your power okay now the Sun came out again at the bottom on the bottom row but here she looks free she looks free so I felt like that was that was good to bring up okay um you're definitely you're gonna come out of this situation you see how she's rising up out of almost like a like a depression or something like that okay so now the future the three of wands is about waiting and so in the future of the situation here's this ten of cups and so you'll be waiting on this ten of cups um 43 or 34 could be significant um we got this four of pentacles here it's about not letting go um and waiting on you know this person who you view as this ten of cups here but the freedom is going to come in and letting go of it just letting go of the outcome i mean maybe sometime in the future things will be different but you can't wait on that you can't wait on that because it's like it's it's taking your power your energy literally you might be very tired you might not have that much energy i maybe i'm wrong about that but that's what it feels like to me whether you notice it or not, you're giving away your power here. Okay, so then these cards fell out together, um, all two. So, uh, angel number two, two, two. Okay, so this is literally like looks like angels coming in to to show you something here. Um, then the two of pentacles is about balance, talking about balance and balance, bringing in balance, and then that's crazy too because the zebra. Um, has something to do with balance too. So you might definitely want to check into that. Okay. But the two of wands is about goals coming together. Uh, and then we got temperance. Okay. Your angels and your ancestors helping you to balance things out, pouring into your own cup here. Next, the last card that fell out was the devil, uh, Capricorn energy there, but this kind of looks like a necklace here in a way. Um, but the thing is, like, I don't want to put any blame on this person, and I'm not. But like I said, I've never noticed these ships here before. Definitely, I think a lot of people um, get caught up in the, the past lives thing, and and I don't know. Why. Well, I guess I do know why. It's like we want a, a different outcome this time. But when we do, when we hold on to that... Um, we give over our power here and there's there's hungry ghosts out here hungry entities whatever you want to call it they take that power okay it don't even mean that this person that you gave the necklace to it really don't have anything to do with him at this point there's there's energies around us that feed off of our 
pain, our sadness, our the fact that we're yearning for this person, we're giving our power to somebody else. It's like a lot of times, sometimes we can be giving our power to a to that particular person, you know, giving our money to them, our power, our energy, whatever. Um, but other times, um, we're giving our energy and power to this person, but if they're not really around, then where is that energy going? You know, if it's not uplifting you, then it's holding you back. If it's not uplifting you, it's holding you back. Okay, so 